today we're going to talk about adaptive machine learning in a streaming environment. Now that's a big problem that's applicable to a wide range of issues in manufacturing all the way down to data centers. Today we're going to talk about a particular issue for a chipset manufacturer. So in chipset manufacturing there are two important aspects. One, we're dealing with millions of events per second streaming through the factory floor. Two, time to insight is critical. At the beginning of a process, a wafer like this may cost $30. By the time it's fully processed, four weeks later, it'll cost upwards of $1,000. Identifying bad wafers early in the process is critical. So an expert will train a machine learning algorithm offline by identifying good wafer runs and bad wafer runs. Once the algorithm has learned, then all this training is moved to run against real live data. And what we see, as in this graph, is that the recognition of bad wafer goes immediately up. And we want to tell the algorithm how to be even smarter. We're going to train it online while the factory process is happening. And I'm going to look at what the algorithm is telling me. I'm going to pick up one example, which the algorithm determined was a good way for run. And I can see that there's a little dip right there after the first plateau. I'm an expert, and I know that indicates a bad wafer. So I'm going to go and tell the algorithm this is actually a bad wafer. I click on bad, and I train it. On this screen, which represents a dashboard of multiple processes going on, we have four different kinds of machines, each corresponding to different kind of machine learning. Three is the current state of affairs with no machine learning. And what we see is that at the end of the process, four weeks later, a full 15% of the wafers that make it through are defective wafers. We wanted to reduce the percentages. If we look at machine two, which has static offline machine learning, we've reduced it to roughly 5%. If we look at machine one, which has a combination of offline machine learning and adaptive machine learning, we've reduced it all the way down to 1%. So this has been a very effective prototype. We've cut down time to insight from weeks to minutes. But this type of solution is wildly applicable beyond chipset manufacturing. Actually, it's applicable all the way from monitoring autonomous guided vehicles in a car manufacturing plant all the way to data centers and telemetry.